Hi everyone, welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I am doing two home decor DIYs from the Dollar Tree, and I'm so excited to get this out for you guys because these have been in my head, so here we go. First DIY, you will need pumpkin clips, and you can use however many of these you want for your place settings. I just wanted two for my counter. I'm just going to put this in my kitchen for a place setting of two. I thought it'd look really cute. You will need silver napkin rings, also from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of six. And then I saw this paint at Walmart for a dollar, and then the glitter was actually cheaper to buy at Walmart compared to Dollar Tree. You just get more for the money, and then you're going to need a paintbrush. Just twisting the clip off the pumpkin came right off and then I'm going to place the paint right on top of the pumpkin. This process was just easier for me instead of just dipping it back and forth on a paper plate. I wanted to make it fast. Just to let you know, you can make this your own. If you're not into the white look of a pumpkin, you can use pink, you can use purple color, blue, light blue, mint green. There's so many pretty choices. And then if you're into the glam, just add that touch of sparkle on it with the glitter and you're good to go. And just repeating the same process that I did in the first pumpkin, you're going to repeat for this second or however many you're going to do. So I did three of these and one of them I was going to use on my counter, but then I ended up using it somewhere else. I'm so excited that fall is right around the corner. Is it just me or did summer just fly by? I feel like I just blinked and it's already almost fall. I definitely enjoyed my summer. We took our baby girl to the beach for her first time and she absolutely loved it, you guys. She was just smiling and laughing the entire time. It was so precious. So I hope you all had a great summer as well. Let me know what was your favorite time in the summer that you did. What did you do? Did you go on a trip? I'd love to know. While the paint was still wet on the pumpkins, I added the glitter and then repeated it for all of them. Taking my hot glue gun, I'm going to glue the stem all around so I can add the jumbo glitter on top. Then grabbing my napkin ring, I'm going to place some glue in the center and then stick the pumpkin in the middle. This step is so simple and I just love this silver look to it on the napkin ring, but you can add burlap ribbon, you can add white ribbon or even bling wrap. I just love this look more. So just repeating the same step for the next pumpkin and at the end if you have hairspray definitely make sure you spray it on there that way you don't have fallout from the glitter all over your napkins. You can use Mod Podge seal spray. I have that and it works perfectly too. And here's the final result, you guys. I absolutely love how it came out. I love how I envisioned it, and then it just came out even prettier than I expected. I love that it's a pumpkin napkin ring. I haven't seen that yet, so if it was in the stores, I'd definitely buy it. It does not look like it was anything from the Dollar Tree, so you are winning with this one. I 
I'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought about this DIY. So let me know in the comments down below. My husband loved this one. When he saw it, he thought I actually bought it. And I'm like, no, I made it. Yeah, you guys, this is definitely a must if you're into that fall glam home decor. Let me know if you want to see a new fall home tour this year. I did one last year, so I'll leave a link below if you haven't seen it yet. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more fall DIYs. Now moving on to the second DIY, you're going to need seven or eight bouquets of roses or whatever roses or flowers you want to use. Then you're going to need two vases. I found these in the floral section, a big one and a small one. Then I had some spray paint, silver spray paint from Walmart and some more of the glitter, two LED candles, two hectagon mirrors or you can use the circle ones. I just didn't find those at my Dollar Tree. Also a hot glue gun and a glue stick. My husband went ahead and spray painted the roses silver for me. Don't worry you guys, it's not going to look like this at the end, I promise. So meanwhile, I'm taking the roses and then hot gluing them down on the vase. It started raining so he couldn't do the second coat of silver right away, but that's okay. I just worked on the project meanwhile it stopped. Now that I like how the roses are and I'm just complete with them, I'm going to add some glue on the tip of the roses, that way I can add glitter on top. Now that I see that there's enough glitter, I'm going to add the finishing touch, which is the hot glue, and then put the jumbo glitter on top. Definitely make sure that your roses are completely covered in the spray paint that you want. That way you don't have to go back like I did because of the rain. So make sure it's a nice day. That way you can do two coats. For the next step, I hot glued the hectagon mirror on top. I just didn't record it because it was so simple to do. And here's the final result, you guys. I added the LED candles on top and then I just had some extra white ribbon laying around. And it would look adorable on the candles. I am just blown away on how this DIY came out. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to come out the way that I had envisioned it. And it just turned out even better. I'm so happy I made this, you guys. So definitely let me know in the comments which DIY was your favorite. This by far has been one of my favorite DIYs I've made. And so excited to share it with you all. 
You can add this on your dining table, on your coffee table, or in the bathroom, the kitchen. The ideas just go on and on for a party, for a baby shower, or for a wedding. I think it would look absolutely stunning and something very unique. So definitely let me know where you would style it. Thank you all so much for watching and coming back to view my channel and my videos. I will definitely be posting more, so subscribe if you haven't, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll talk to you in my next video.